Hey, it's Pigeon Bricks, and today we will be looking at images that have been revealed of the summer 2021 LEGO Star Wars wave. So jumping straight into it, first set up is this Ahsoka vs. Darth Maul dual set. And of course the minifigures for this set are going to be Ahsoka and Darth Maul, both of which look very nice, especially Darth Maul here. Um, the only sad thing about Darth Maul here is that his lightsaber is the shorter variant and not this like custom um, longer lightsaber hilt mold. But that's fine in my opinion, it's also looking like it's uh, a grey piece um, instead of those lighter silver pieces used. For the set, you also have two um, builds, of course, which I think aren't as exciting. However, the Mandalorian throne is pretty cool. Um, I think that like glass uh, piece with the sticker on it looks really nice in the background, and you will be able to uh, push that out. And then, of course, there are those two little flower pieces as some detail. Um, they look really nice as well. And the vault, the other build of this set, of course, also looks really nice except for the fact that that see-through little um, window slot there is not going to be see-through by the looks of it since it's just a sticker on top of the Lego, which is a bit disappointing. But moving on to the next set on the list, it is the 2021 Slave 1, um, basically a downsized version, um, a bit downsized from the 2020 version, but this set actually surprised me um, in a good way because this set is going to be Mandalorian themed. Um, so it's a uh, slave one from the Mandalorian show instead of from the movies, which is great to see. I was go going to think that it's just going to be another slave one quite soon, actually, to the last slave one that came out, which uh, was last year. So that's I found it quite unnecessary. But... It is quite nice to see that this is indeed a um, slave one from the Mandalorian instead of just another one from the movies. So that kind of justifies the uh, quick and soon release of it. The minifigures of the set are of course going to be the Mandalorian in his Baskar armor and Boba Fett of course um, piloting the ship. Um, however, two minifigures is a bit disappointing for me personally uh, even though the minifigures are nice minifigures you have Boba Fett of course with some very nice printing even on the arms just like uh, the Mandalorian with also printing on the arms and his spear uh, which is very nice to see and Boba Fett also has kind of like a really nice looking um, different type of blaster with sort of like a lever uh, piece on top of it which looks nice too but yeah as I said just too many figures for such a set even though yes it is a downsized version of last year's set and it is cheaper it still surprises me that this set only gets two minifigures but moving on to the next set on the list we have a big one here Moff Gideon's Cruiser this uh, set right here is something that I was really looking forward to um, and sure enough it doesn't disappoint in my opinion. It looks really nice in its design. It also has those two big cannons on each side on the top which I find to be a tad bit too big, a bit bulky looking, a bit gimmicky maybe. Um, but yeah, I mean it's nice to have a play feature at least in a playset of course. Um, so yeah, those are firing two spring-loaded shooters um, in each one. I think they should have made it just one, but that's just me. Yeah, but the rest of the ship is pretty much perfect in my opinion. Really great looking. The bridge looks very nice. Um, and yeah, overall really good set. Of course, it will also be able to, I presume, somewhere store those little miniature TIE Fighters since that is its kind of like one of its features in the show. The Lego Moff Gideon Cruiser comes with six minifigures, one of course being Grogu, the second minifigure of course being the Mandalorian in his Beskar armor with his spear once again. Of course, it also comes with Cara Dune, even though there was a bit of a suspicion that she wasn't going to be in the set because of her getting fired from Disney, but sure enough, she is in this set. We also have Fennec Shand, which is one of the three minifigures that I would say you will probably be buying this set for if you're into the minifigures. And uh, she looks very nice. I think she even has some arm printing right there. I think you can see uh, two stripes there, which is really cool to see too. 
um, has the same rifle as uh, Cara Dune has over there. And yeah, she looks really nice, especially with that bright orange um, in the helmet. Looks quite unique. And, you know, printing everywhere looks very nice. And next up is, of course, Moff Gideon. And this minifigure, although the entire minifigure itself looks really great, um, cape matches perfectly, all the printing looks nice, except for, well, the lack of printing on the legs. But other than that, the minifigure itself, really nice minifigure. However, the biggest disappointment about this entire set for me is definitely that, um, well, the dark saber is just a regular lightsaber colored black. Like, that is really something that LEGO should have, um, should have definitely improved on, in my opinion. I think they should definitely include a custom mold for the Darksaber, especially because it's so important in the story, um, in the history of the Mandalorians. So this is really disappointing for me to see uh, just a regular lightsaber um, used as the Darksaber. So, yeah, that is... A bit disappointing but other than that great minifigure and the final minifigure of the set as expected a dark trooper now this dark trooper finally we have a lego version of the dark trooper i think this dark trooper looks really really nice especially compared to uh well the dark saber which is just a regular lightsaber um this is definitely a step up from that for the last minifigure here, really nice with its uh, bulky kind of features in the shoulder pads and the helmet, red eyes of course. So yeah, I think LEGO did a good job here, um, just really am um, kind of salty about that dark saber. Next up is the troop transport from the Mandalorian show. Once again, a lot of Mandalorian um, sets coming here. But yeah, this set right here, I was also looking forward to seeing and in my opinion it doesn't really disappoint looks quite decent to me not the greatest set not the most exciting one for sure but looks pretty good nevertheless uh, we of course have um, stud shooters on the back and the front so there's kind of like a movable turret on the top back and um, on the front just regular uh, stud shooters and you can also see there's a hatch for um, right now Grief Karga to pop out but yeah obviously any minifigure can just pop out of there and yeah it looks really nice and detailed just obviously not the most exciting set of the bunch and the minifigures for the set are going to be Grief Karga with kind of a different look more of like a um, tough war type look with his beard and everything so that is Quite cool to see, different from the um, other versions of him. We have a Mortar Trooper, which looks stunning, very detailed. A backpack also, um, just his Mortar, I think, could have used a bit of working on it, but looks decent nonetheless. And, of course, also two uh, regular Stormtroopers, which, personally, I don't love the mold, the new LEGO mold that they have for the helmets, but other than that, they look great too. And next up is the Mandalorian Starfighter, another Clone Wars set of this wave. And this set right here has more of a blue um, instead of the white design focus as opposed to the more white design that we've had before, the last um, Mandalorian Starfighter that we've gotten. And I think this definitely uh, looks better than the white in my opinion. It has some gray instead of the blue accents, I guess, or the white and um, two shades of blue which I think looks rather nice. It also has two uh, kind of play features if you will um, on the front with the stud shooters and on the tips of the wings with those spring loaded shooters. For the minifigures of the set we have Garth Axon with a brand new helmet mold with those uh, large horns jotting out at the top um, on the helmet which looks really nice nice printing as well um, we also have Bo-Katan with another very nice looking helmet but not new mold of course and finally we have a regular uh, Mandalorian as the third figure there so nice figure selection in my opinion and they all come with these guns instead of blasters which is kind of uh, unique to see for lego star wars sets usually you don't see um, non-blaster pieces used uh, for their weapons so that is quite unique in this set too 
And lastly is the LEGO Star Wars 2021 Advent Calendar set. And this one, as rumored, is going to be Mandalorian themed, which is great in my opinion. It has some very nice minifigures, especially with that baby Yoda in his Santa outfit, with his crib being also um, kind of like Christmas themed with the red and white theme. Looks really, really great. We of course have some regular um, minifigures there like the Scout Trooper and Storm Trooper. And of course, there are also two turret builds included in this uh, set with the turret of the uh, Storm Trooper and the turret or ballista, I guess, mini ballista of the sand person over there, which looks really awesome in my opinion. There are also, of course, some ship builds like that miniature uh, TIE Fighter looks a bit bigger um, than the one in the uh, cruiser, Moff Gideon cruiser um, actual playset. And speaking of which, there's also a miniature um, Moff Gideon cruiser in the set, which looks really nice. And with all of that being said, this concludes my list of all of the new images released of the summer 2021 LEGO Star Wars sets. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, a like and a sub would be greatly appreciated, and I'll catch you in the next one.